today we decided to do an episode all about sex hacks. Uh, look at this. A person says, a fat girl wants to have sex with me, but she's a bit heavier than me. Oh, Guess what? Stay tuned. We'll be having a fat girl talk about what it's like to have fat sex. A lot of us have this idea in our head that we look super different with our clothes on than off. And in fact, most people that are of age and having sex know what a naked body looks like. If they've been dating you, or even if they only have had one date with you, they know if you have a fat belly before you get naked. So you're not going to shock them when you lift your belly up a little bit and move it. And the great thing about feeling comfortable moving your body around and helping your partner get in a good position is that a lot of the time when you think it feels really good, it also feels really, really great for your partner. I have had so many of my friends, people of my age group that you know over the age of 40 who have such insecurities about being naked again with a guy, especially after having, you know, having children and all that kind of stuff because they're worried about stretch marks. And I can't always say to them, guys don't give a shit about that kind of stuff. And darkness is our friend. But more importantly, what she just said about having wearing clothes, I mean, it's true. You know what you're getting into. You know it, right? Yeah, you, I mean, it's... You're not gonna be totally, oh my God, you've got a belly when the, the girl's a size 16. I mean, come on. Yeah, I, I, I mean... And I like that she said, if they're accepting of you who you are with clothes on, then they're gonna accept you with clothes off. And if you move your belly aside, who cares? And it's a great tip, why not be comfortable? Yeah, I agree with it. Uh, there are some things about the body that you don't really, you can't really tell about the other person when you're, when just when they're in their clothes. Like what? Well, an overlapping toe. Like or, yours? I happen to have one toe that kind of overlaps the other. Have you ever been thrown out of bed because of your overlapping toe? No.